Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Now today we are talking about the big one. Yes, Onward is finally available on the Oculus Quest. We've been waiting for this Milsim shooter to come over to the standalone headset for a long time now and we're excited to finally dive into a graphics comparison. Couple of things to note before we start. Now, this is really important. Onward is going to be getting a patch on PC today as well that changes some of these maps to make sure they match on the standalone and PC versions. We have an article up about some of the changes there you'll see, but this is not a video about those changes, this is purely about the graphics. So yes, you'll see some different looking maps, but that's not really what we're talking about here. I also want to point out that we're going to be cropping the footage on Quest, and you won't be seeing some of the foveated rendering at the side, which can actually muddy the experience a little, so we're showing that a little bit at the start here, but just keep in mind that that will be there as we play through the rest of the footage as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's dive in. We're taking a quick look at a, do a little spin of the menu, although they're in different settings, so it doesn't actually really mean much, other than to confirm that yes, the menu is in Onward. Uh, obviously you can see it does look nicer on the PC, as you'd expect, but actually the menu in, in the Quest version is pretty good. Um, what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be moving into the free roam version of Suburbia, one of the, one of the game's most popular maps. This is me in the uh, tent lining up my first rifle, just giving you a quick look there. It's a bit harder to capture because the, on Quest inside the tent it's actually quite dark, which doesn't do great for a graphics comparison, but that's how you see it in the headset. Okay, and moving straight into the map, now straight away you can see some huge differences between the Quest and PC version. As we look around just at the start, you can see a difference in foliage, uh, lots of different missing items in the Quest version. Uh, this is how the M16 rifle looks in hand. Again, actually pretty solid on Quest, but obviously so much better on PC. Now let's take a little walk down the street. Now as we're doing this, I want you to pay close attention to this red car because it's going to show you one of the major issues in Onward on Quest which is texture pop-in based on draw distance. It can be really, really significant, and actually this is one of the more affected maps for it. You can see things changing just as we're walking down the streets. Obviously, complete lack of trees. Much more dense varied foliage in the PC version. It's running on Quest, but really this is one of the more dramatic downgrades we've seen to fit a game onto the platform. As you can see there, yep, some more missing effects. There's that car on fire, which isn't happening in the Quest version. Uh, smoke in the distance over there that's completely gone on standalone. And again, this isn't the point, but you'll notice some different geometry as well, like this, uh, this porch is missing. Now we're going to walk through over to one of the houses, go inside, see some of the differences there, and that's where some of the pop-in will really start to make a difference. Obviously notice the reduced amount of clutter and, and, and convincing items to kind of populate the scene a bit more as well. Yep, that washing machine did not fare well. <laughs> Kitchen looking dramatically different, much cleaner in the Quest version. And by cleaner I mean much simpler, nothing cluttered on the side. We'll head upstairs into the different bedrooms in this house. Much nicer lighting going on in the PC version. I have to say the the made bed in the master bedroom in the Quest version. Just there's something about the unmade bed in the Quest uh, in the PC version that looks. Much, much better to me. So, looking at a car here, parked in the garage. Can see the reflections on the windscreen, although neither of them are actually opaque, which uh, I thought they were, but turns out they're not. Um, big differences there still, but obviously, given that this is going to be cross-play, it would be kind of unfair if one version had opaque windows to see through and the other didn't, so it's actually kind of good. Missing a bit of fire there, so if you're planning on moving into this area, probably move in in the Quest version. Okay, now we're going to move on to our next map, uh, which is going to be Quarantine, another really, really popular one. This time I'm doing uh, Cooperative Mode. Having a quick look at the tent before we move out this time. Again, very, very dark, so kind of hard to compare.
big differences to the sniper rifle in terms of detail on the grip. Uh, extra effects on the pistol to kind of make it look a little better on the Quest version. So here's two avatars, uh, two player avatars. Actually looks pretty good on Quest, I would say, but again, you can just see a dramatic difference on the PC version, as you'd expect. Sniper rifle not faring quite as well on the Quest version, uh, thanks to lighting and shadows, which we'll see more of in a bit. But I mean, just look at the difference in, in draw distance and detail as we view uh, the quarantine map. Again, this is gonna see some big changes in the PC version today. Not what we're looking at here, we're looking clearly at the graphics. I mean, just look at the texture of the gravel on the road and on, on the pavements. All of that's missing from the quest. You would expect all of that to be missing from the quest, obviously. But it makes a big, big, big difference when you're putting the two side by side. Cutting a bit here because I got into a, an altercation which didn't didn't go to my favour, so needed to restart. That might happen quite a lot. I'm not actually that good at onward. Fortunately, I'm not the one reviewing the game. Amazing to see a lot of the kind of simplified architecture in the Quest version. Um, much, much more detailed, more granular in the PC edition. Imagine, I'm again, I imagine that's something that might change a lot in the update on PC today. Now this is interesting, we're going into a darker building here. This is a good showcase of the lighting effects in the game. As you can see as we move on to the first level, uh, my friend's avatar completely shaded, whereas a bit more convincing uh, lighting going on on the pit well, I say a bit more, I mean it's kind of obvious uh, what's happening on the PC version, although uh, taking part at different points in the day between the two versions, it's more kind of sunset and quest which might help downpour explain some of those uh, those lighting differences Walking on round to the back of the map Largely similar here in terms of geometry. But again, those missing effects, the kind of washed out color palette of the sand, it's just a completely different story on, on PC. Just moving up to the plane crash area now, again looking very very different, that will change in today's patch. Actually kind of like having a bit more of it to see in the quest version. Um, and we're going to switch now to just the final map, uh, very quickly, just to give you one last look. This is, this is definitely a map that uh, geometrically is very very similar, uh, so you won't see some big changes after the patch today. But again, it's just amazing to look at the difference in color palette, the difference in effects, uh, the detail in the textures and the rendering, and how they, they provide what I feel is a much more kind of authentic experience on the PC. I Onward, uh, to play this game, you know, everything mechanically is still there for sure, and that's fantastic. But I do seriously wonder how people are going to react to the graphics in this game. I know that David, who reviewed the game, you can read our review on Upload VR, uh, was really taken aback by the differences, and I think he, he really struggled with a game that he otherwise absolutely adores. So we're coming uh, round about to the end here because my life is about to be uh, rudely interrupted by some enemies yet again. Um, but I just want to close out on one particularly striking 
image. Firstly, because it's an amazing throw by Cena, and secondly, because, well, just watch. Yeah, okay. So that was Onward on Quest. Does this massive downgrade in graphics really matter to you, or are you just really happy to be jumping into an online military simulator on Quest finally? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like, and hit the notifications button. And head on over to UploadVR.com for plenty more coverage on Onward's Quest launch.